Yo, what's good with y'all? So look, we have an Anunnaki Draco message about self-empowerment and how to claim your power and all that other stuff, right? So I, I, I like this one. I mean, I like all of them, you know what I'm saying? But, but you know what I'm saying? This, 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 this one's pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? But um, so one thing about power and self-empowerment, right? They do want to talk about the basics of, like, being strong and confident and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should be, you should try to develop your strength. You don't want to be a weak person. You should try to um be more confident. You know what I'm saying? You should try to overcome all your fear type shit. You know, that's actually highly important, you know? And they talk about how one of the important, one of the most important ways to like overcome that fear and to be more confident and to like have more power and stuff like that is to actually develop your ego a bit more. But it doesn't mean get attached to your ego. It means this. It means be aware that you are a source, but as source, you wanted to come down here as a personality. So with that being said, build up your personality. Like when you play a video game, right? Of course, you should not think that you're the actual character inside the game and then get attached to the game and then play the game forever and then get, then get caught inside that cycle. You know what I'm saying? But at the very, 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 very same time, if you're going to play that game, if you want to be good at the game, then you got to fucking upgrade your character. So with the game of life, you got to upgrade your character type shit. You know what I'm saying? So inside of your mind, right? You need to build a strong sense of self. Like if you like that whole developing the mental man shit, that's some very that's very much some Anunnaki shit. You know what I'm saying? Like developing your mental space and filling it with positive affirmations and powerful affirmations, that's actually highly important when it comes to staying inside your power, right? You know what I'm saying? They really are big on that shit. Also, you cannot doubt your worth. And you cannot seek anyone else's approval. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not saying don't be open to what other niggas have to say. But even though you could be open, you should not be dependent. You see the difference? You should not be dependent on what somebody else says about you or what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, what they say, you could be open to the advice, but what they say should not be the end all be all, right? So with one thing, though, know your worth and know how valuable you are. Know how valuable you are and don't try to put yourself down. And don't put yourself down by trying to seek approval from others. You see what I'm saying? Because people do that all the time. Like, even me, I've done that before. We're like, we're like, I'm like, oh, this person knows a whole bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I peep, hold the fuck up. Nigga, we on the same level. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we on the same exact level. Nigga, I know shit that you don't fucking know. You know shit that I don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you need to become comfortable in all your strengths and your abilities and what you bring to the table type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because some people are not going to like what the fuck you bring. And that's facts. But if you understand the value of what the fuck you bring, you won't try to sacrifice your worth for somebody else. Like if you know that, if you know that nigga, you bring flowers, but that person want candy, my nigga. You're not going to say, okay, fine, I'll get the candy. Like, no, nigga, you are a gardener, nigga. You have flowers, my nigga. Go somewhere else where flowers are appreciated. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't seek approval from, from, from nobody else. From nobody else. So there's a very fine line with that, though, because that mindset is a great power, but also a lot of people's downfall. You see what I'm saying? Not being open to consideration. Like, yes, know your worth, but also, like, for example, right, my boy Cash, right? If he tell me some shit about myself, I'll be open to listening. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I don't agree, I just don't agree. And, that, and it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm way more open to him than some fucking random ass worm on the street who I don't, you know what I'm saying, who, 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 do, who, don't, who don't know shit about life. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck him. Cash, I'ma listen. That nigga, fuck no. Like, you should be, you should still be aware when somebody's very knowledgeable and trustworthy. It's just that you should not be dependent on that person's word. So understand the value of other people too. Because if you do understand the value of other people, you're going to consider what the fuck they say. And if what they say is right, and let's say you have to change some shit, right? You won't be like, oh nigga, like, like you'll be like, you'll understand that. You wanted to change is not just because of, is not just because of them. 
all that person did was make you aware of a certain way of thinking. And you're like, you know what? I can agree with that. And because you know your own worth and you want to do better, you end up changing yourself. Not because of them, but because of you, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? Also, right? You know how, like, you know how, like, right now it's a rainy ass day, right? I love rainy days. I ain't gonna lie. I love getting the emotions flowing and stuff like that. I always love that shit, right? Some niggas hate rainy days, right? And then they let that shit make them feel gloomy. Nigga, you gotta put the joy back into your life, my nigga. Like, that whole gloomy shit was a figure of speech. I mean, if some bullshit happened, right? Nigga, you control your emotional state. So if you want to feel bad, that's all. That's a you problem, right? Now, the thing is, right, certain other beings wouldn't say that shit. Like, they'll be more understanding. But Enonaki, they don't give a fuck about They don't want to hear that shit, especially because one of their powers is literally frequency manipulation. They can, they can literally manipulate their own frequency. So it's like, for them, generating an emotion is not hard at all. It's just... And it's there, you know what I'm saying? Humans can do the same shit, though. In fact, nigga, why niggas acting like human bodies don't heavily come from Inonaki? The fuck? Like, granted, if you're black, you have more Inonaki genes. But still, because I ain't gonna lie, if you're white, then, like, there's different, like, like Asians. Asians have a whole bunch of Syrian genes, bro. Swear to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Caucasians have different genes. Indians have different genes. Indians seem to have, like, you see, I don't know if it's vegan. These are just the vegan culture. Because the vegan culture is big. Like, like, like vegan culture is so similar to uh, Indian culture. And some of the beings do look similar to Indian deities. I'm not going to lie. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? But um, well, all that being said, though, right? I don't, don't want to hear that bullshit. I ain't gonna lie, they're not, like, if you could, oh, this person did, so give a fuck, nigga. You gonna let yourself feel like that because of what somebody else said or did? Who gives a fuck? Why you give a fuck like that? I ain't gonna lie. And I, like, like, some of, y- some of y'all who, who know me or, or can tell my personality and stuff like that, y'all know that I fucking love that mindset. The fact that we have the power, because, nigga, I'm very, I'm very much an Anunnaki, you know what I'm saying? I'm very much an Anunnaki, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's like, Give a fuck, nigga. <laughs> Give a fuck. Like what? Now with that being said, right? Um, oh, let me let me let me let me say some other things too because cause I'm giving y'all a lot of firepower, but it's not gonna be the only fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be the only fucking thing. But but let me let me actually talk about this though when it comes to putting the joy back inside of your life, right? Like I said, you control your emotional state, right? You control how you feel about life, right? So even when shit is going bad, don't be afraid to feel good. Like, who gives a fuck, bro? Like, I've noticed this shit with myself and other people, bro. When certain bad shit happens, we think that we now have to feel sad or that we have to feel mad or bad in general, right? But here's the thing, right? Why? Like, you don't like you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? That is some real 3D shit. I made, I'm making, well, by the time y'all see this, the video's already up. So, yeah, nigga, on YouTube, I made a video about how the physical is not the fucking 3D. You know what I'm saying? A 3D mindset means that you can, per- I mean, if you, if you have a 3D awareness, that means that you are able to perceive imagery and forms. Now, with that being said, right, if you can only perceive imagery and forms and can't go beyond that shit, like, if you, if you, if you, if you was a fucking seeing, feeling ass nigga, that's, the, then it's like you could, of course you can't fucking control how the fuck you feel when certain shit happen. Because when you see some shit happen, it makes you feel a certain kind of way, and you just go off that shit. But you could get higher on the mental and the causal and then understand why the fuck this shit happened and then feel good anyway. Because the negative shit is not going to last for a long time anyway. And I've noticed with me, right, I would hate when certain shit happens because I'm like, fuck, bro, that bullshit happens, now I feel this way. But it's like, nigga... You're choosing to feel like that. Like, like your perceptions and ideas and your judgments about your perceptions, ideas, and judgments about the situation is controlling how the fuck you feel, literally, bro. And if you were actually aware of your mental space, you could actually switch that shit. You see what I'm saying? So Yeah, bro. Now let me cause cause I had, you know what I'm saying? Let me look at my notes next. I don't want to miss no topics. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to miss no shit. And then, and then I look back at this shit, and and, and then I'm sick. <laughs> but um, also this too. This kind of deals with the same thing I was saying, right? Don't blame other people for shit, bro. Like if somebody snaked you, blame yourself for not peeping that they was a fucking snake. Now, granted, sometimes you had no fucking way of knowing. But understand this too, though. If you took 
full responsibility of that type of shit, you might be the kind of person who's like, fuck it, nigga. Because I want to control if I meet a snake-ass bitch or not, let me actually be on some psychic nigga shit and practice my fucking psychic shit. Because that is actually another thing I want to talk about. How power comes in many different forms. There's power in light. Like with these angelic dragons and shit like that, they teach me a lot about the fucking power of light. But another thing with Anunnaki is the power of the fucking mind, bro. And your psychic abilities, bro. Like, one, test your ability to structure your... Test the ability to structure your mind a certain way is powerful enough because, nigga, when you structure your mind, you control how the fuck you feel and act. You know what I'm saying? With the right mindset, you could do fucking anything. That's not true. Just because I believe I can fucking fly, don't mean I can fucking fly. Nigga, if you have the mindset of I believe I can fly and I am determined to fly no matter fucking what, you will fucking learn how to fly. Nigga, that nigga Ernest Vester be teaching that shit. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could go to that nigga right the fuck now. Like, fuck out of here, bro. With the, with the right mindset, you could literally do fucking anything, bro. So that's one portion. But then the also, but then also, right, there's power in being fucking psychic. Let me be right the fuck back real quick. I got some food inside the oven. I got to flip my shit over real quick. Hold up. Yeah. Understand the power of your fucking mind and your ability to be psychic because mad niggas, right? Mad niggas would, one, be psychic if they simply trusted themselves more. Like, my nigga. How many... I always say this, bro. How many times do you do some bullshit then say, damn, I shouldn't have did that bullshit? Aside from that, though, right? Mad niggas are not psychic because they don't want to fucking practice. Because they think that it's, they think it's kind of helpless. Like, with me, right? I say this all the time. I would take a tarot card, right, or, or or an oracle card, right? Then I'll go like this and try to feel what the card is, right? But it didn't, like, that shit took a while to get good at. Even now, I'm not, like, the best at that shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's because I noticed that when it comes to my psychic shit, I'm really good at piercing into shit and then digging up information. Like, just receiving random ass shit. I could do that, too, and that does happen, but it's not as easy as fucking... Looking for something specific and then finding it just like that. Because I could do that shit real fucking easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, my favorite practice is when I take, like, three cards, right? And I'm like, okay, I want to fucking find this card. Then I fucking mix them up and stuff like that. And I could find it real easy because, like, I could just, like, I know what the fuck I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? So, with all that being said, though, right? You could be a psychic-ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then, when it comes to a snake-ass nigga, you'll already fucking know. Oh, that's a snake-ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, like you just know. You see what I'm saying? So, understand that you, like, literally, you could fucking access all the information in the world through your fucking mind. Literally, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta learn how to, you just, you just, need, you just need to learn how to develop those abilities, right? You see what I'm saying? There's also power in light, though, right? And the next episode is kind of, is gonna actually deal with, um, how to be like a, how to be like an earth angel, it's a very, it's very much a Pleiadian and drama and Draco message, more of an angelic Draco thing. But um, inside this vid, right, they want you to understand the power of your light also, which I already made a video about the seven rays of light, right? But understand that your light is powerful, bro. Like you don't gotta fucking always be killing some shit to be powerful, bro. Cause there's me there's so many low vibrational beings that are powerful, but if you simply go like shaboom, it's done for them, bro. It's done for them. And as I tap into these fucking crystal rays, like into the as I tap into the crystal rays of light, bro, I'm seeing even more and more, bro, how light, simply just light, is one of the most, if not the most powerful forces ever, bro. Literally, bro. Like, if you want power, nigga, tap into your light type shit. That is some real fucking... Bro, people could feel it too, bro. You'll walk inside the room and niggas just go like, either niggas be like, because they can't handle the fucking light, or they're like, oh my God, look at him, because they fucking love the light. You see what I'm saying? So your light is actually very fucking powerful, right? And then also, when it comes to taking your power back from certain shit, right, you need to close out certain cycles, bro. You need to get closure on a lot of shit, even if it's just mental shit, right? Like some of you guys may not have talked to somebody in mad long, right? 
But when you think about them, it makes you feel a certain kind of way. Example for me, nigga, my ex. I actually decided to talk to her the other day because I'm like, you know what, bro? Because like, cause I've been getting over certain shit. More and more, and there's, there's there's actually been certain shit that I didn't even, that I didn't even know was affecting me. You know what I'm saying? It's just that as I get deeper inside my soul, I see certain shit because it's mainly like the past life shit now with how the fuck she portrayed me back as serious and got me lined and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Or at least tried to get me lined, which actually kind of did work, but like I, I ended up freeing myself. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that bitch got me lined by my fucking ops. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but as I was as I've been learning more about that, right? I've been getting over so much shit and seeing, shit and seeing shit so much differently. So because of that, right, I tried to have a conversation with her, right? And it was actually cool. Like, I'm not going to be talking to that girl, but it was cool. I'm like, all right, word. I feel better about this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it helps you take your power back because that person, that person has no control over you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's really important. Like, forgiveness is power because you know how fucking hard it is to fucking forgive somebody when they did you wrong. But it's so powerful because you're like, okay, bro, you did that bullshit. It wasn't okay, but I but I forgive you. That don't mean that you fuck with them. All that it means is that you're not putting your energy onto them and having that nigga cuz like when you're like when you're all mm, yeah, hateful and shit like that, right? That takes up your energy that could be used to go other places, right? When you forgive people, right? You take back more energy and it starts to fucking overflow and it will literally bring you blessings, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? But forgiveness is so powerful because um it also deals with taking more responsibility, right? Like I said, even with my fucking ex and the shit that she did inside this life, right? I should have been left their ass, you know what I'm saying, with certain shit. Like, certain arguments and stuff like that, I should have already known it's not the person for me. And same with her. Nigga, we was not the people for each other. Like, me and her were bad to each other because we were not meant for each other. For other people, though, nigga, we're great. Like, like I could act the same exact way around somebody else, and it's way better. You know what I'm saying? But around her, it's harmful. You see what I'm saying? So it's like with both of us, right, having that forgiveness it shows like nigga one i like i like i i understand that what you did was not the best but i forgive you for it and i understand that i have more control than i thought that i once did cuz i i could have been left she could have been left we could have been done with the shits and nigga yeah so forgiveness is actually very fucking powerful right and then also understand the power of communicating with your spirit guides bro like working with spirits could bring you blessings inside of your life because like if you want to draw certain people to you, right, all that needs to happen is that a spirit could whisper inside their ear and then they come along to you. But don't twist that now and start using fucking demons to draw people to you. No, nigga. What you should do, right, is just put out frequencies that pretty much are like this. You could put out, you could put out a frequency, right, that resonates with certain people who would have already loved that shit anyway. So let's say, like, let's say with me, right? With me, I'm not going to fucking think about a certain kind of person and be like, hey, come book a reading with me. However, I will put out the frequency that I do do readings if you already wanted a fucking reading. Because once that happens, right, it sends out the frequency and then people pick up on those thoughts. And then if they were already going to do it anyway, they get drawn to me. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it just makes the process happen faster, you know? Like, it would have already happened. It just happens faster. But I'm not going to fucking send a demon to make you fucking book with me when, you, when you're not supposed to be doing that shit anyway. Like, nah, fuck no. You know what I'm saying? But the power of working with spirits in the spiritual realm is great as hell, bro. Like, niggas don't realize that. These spiritual powers really do have an effect inside of your life. And a huge thing they wanted to mention, right, is that you don't just need raw physical power, right? You need spiritual power also. You need power from source. You know what I'm saying? You need power that comes from your soul, right? 
you need to be able to be rooted inside of who you truly are at all times and feel what the fuck that feels like. Because source, spirit, is the energy that literally makes all of this. So if spirit is the energy that literally makes all the creation, right? That has to be the most powerful energy in the fucking world. So when you're hooked up to God, you're hooked up to the ultimate energy of the fucking universe. Literally, bro. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual power literally does wonders because me and somebody else could talk, right? And we could say the same exact thing, but if he has more spiritual power, he'll have more of an effect on the people and vice versa. If I have more spiritual power, I have more of an effect. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even though you'll still do things in the physical, it's like the things you do in the physical have more effect because of the spiritual power also. Like, 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 like you could, like you could move something in the physical, right? And be like, word, yeah, I did that little, you know what I'm saying? But when you move it on every single realm, it's way different. You know what I'm trying to say? So with all that being said, right, when you have that spiritual power, you bring down the energy. You bring all, you bring all the energy down onto the physical. You see what I'm saying? You actually bring it down, you know? And it has more of an effect. You see what I'm saying? And then the last thing you want to talk about is how, nigga, your emotions are powerful, bro. It's okay to feel shit. Like, I actually had somebody the other day ask me about crying and stuff like that. I'm like, bro, don't ignore your emotions, bro. Like, it's okay to feel shit because the feeling, right, is what actually vibrates the ethers. If you have strong emotion, you have strong effect upon the etheric realm, which is the realm that's right above this one. So it's like, me... I, so me, I could have a twin brother, right? And we could act the same exact way, except for the fact that I have stronger emotions, right? With that being said, if I go around a girl versus him, right? I will have more of an effect on that girl than he does because the girl could feel me way more, literally, right? Literally, right? But at the same time, right? If the girl does not like my energy, then it will be worse for me than it is for the twin brother. You see what I'm saying? Because she could feel my shit way more and she don't like my shit. But long story short, right? Like, let's say, let's say that you're, let's say that you're making love with somebody, right? If you have strong emotions, the love that they feel while you're doing it with them is way more fucking enhanced. You know what I'm saying? Like, having strong emotions literally moves the world in crazy ass ways, bro. On top of that, people do shit most of the time for emotion. You know what I'm saying? So... If niggas already had the emotion, they would act way differently. On top of that, right, when you act from a high place of emotion, you have more energy, you have more passion, and therefore you, you, create, more, you create more magnetism. Literally, bro, emotions, right? Thoughts make electric waves. Emotions make magnetic waves. If you have strong emotions, you have a strong magnetic field, and you bring shit to you way easier. And the reason why is because people can feel the vibrations of your emotion. You see what I'm saying? So, literally, if you want to become fucking magnetic and draw shit to you, you fucking need heavy emotion. You know what I'm saying? If niggas ever watched fucking One Piece, right? I only really watch that shit, but my friends always tell me, yo, bro, Conqueror's Hockey, bro, that shit feels so fucking real. And it's always the fucking Anunnaki niggas, bro. It's, and that's because Anunnaki can actually do that shit because they could bring on that intimidating feeling, strong as shit, and they make you feel that, and then you go like, oh my god, huh. You know what I'm saying? So, emotion is powerful, bro. Feeling emotion is powerful. Niggas be shut off to that shit, but that shit is one of the most powerful forces inside the material world. Because, bro, emotion, like, emotion is the closest power to this fucking world. Literally, bro. So, like, that shit moves mountains, my guy. But, that's it for this video, bro. The Draco side was more of shit, like, you need to, like, okay, so... On the Draco aspect, that's that's really about like, well, there's different ones because like I've I've talked to different dragons, right? So like the fire dragon is very big on like taking what's yours. Like I'm not gonna say taking what's yours, right? Let me actually no, taking what's yours for a fact, yeah. Like, but also being willing to destroy some shit when it's necessary. Like like it's really big on fucking like destroying shit and fucking shit up with and fucking shit up. When necessary, right? The emotion part came from a water dragon. You know what I'm saying? Because the water, yo, the water dragon has powerful emotions. And the shit that it could do with water is crazy. But the but the emotion shit was also an Anunnaki thing too. You know what I'm saying? And um, the psychic thing, 
was also a dragon thing because the because the etheric dragon is really fucking psychic and they have they could do they like bro you don't gotta just beat somebody ass on some fire dragon shit you could also fuck with their mind also you see what i'm saying like there's power and i had to magic my nigga is powerful bro you, like magic and like that's why I say working with the spiritual realms. Like working with magic has so much an effect inside of your fucking life, bro. I've been doing magic way fucking more, and that shit is so fucking powerful. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, and emotions are a very big part of that shit. You see what I'm saying? But with the etheric dragon, right? It's like it's very big on understanding like the mind and how to fuck that shit operate. But so. Are the Inonaki. That's why it's a mixed message. You know what I'm saying? But like long story short, right? You could literally fuck with niggas' minds. You could literally use the fucking moon to cast illusions onto people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you should do that shit. I mean, if if you was if you it's a spiritual warfare, maybe, you know what I'm saying? It's better than fucking killing them, right? Just making them get caught inside of a false illusion box. That's cool sometimes, you know what I'm saying? If it's a spiritual warfare shit. Don't just do that shit for some willy for some willy nilly for some willy nilly shit though, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, nigga, magic is fucking real. Like you could do so much shit with the fucking planets. You could do so much shit with the fucking elements. <laughs> You could do so much shit with fucking herbs, my nigga. Like, bro, y'all ever seen TikToks? Like, I, I, bro, I, I've seen, like, TikTok compilations, right? Where they're like, yo, bro, if you see this shit under your bed, bitch, that Haitian bitch probably cursing you, my nigga. That shit facts. Nigga, it's power in everything, bro. It's not just about fucking shit up. Like, the, like the fire dragon is big on that shit. Like, go there, take what's yours, my nigga. You have the power. Fuck shit up when you need to. But you don't got to always fuck shit up, bro. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. Try to find out where your power lies at. Do you want light power? Elemental power? Planetary power? God power? All the powers? Consider psychic power? Consider all that stuff, bro. And also, like I said, take responsibility for your life and make everything your fault, kind of. You know what I'm saying? And, and make everything under your control. Take more control of your life. You know what I'm saying? Because you really do have more, you you really do have more control than you think. You know what I'm saying? So, and when and when you actually believe that, you start seeing that you do you really see where you have that control at. You know what I'm saying? So, that's it for this video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.